Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about this weight? Is this normal? No, I've never seen like that before. Okay. All right, we're back and we're still exploring Tokyo, Japan. Moving around Tokyo, the most efficient way is by train. That is most of the time. Other times you can run into serious congestion and you see how I'll deal with that. But also in this video, we're gonna wrap up the Japan playlist by exploring and showing multiple areas of the city. Okay, so we've been in here for like 10 minutes. This is a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, what, what do you think about this weight? Is this normal? No, I've never seen like that before. Okay. I figured if we have a fire, probably this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nobody's uh, getting out. No, nobody's so getting I'm it. thinking, what's the bottleneck? Yeah, I don't know. But it's definitely, uh, definitely doesn't seem safe. Although I didn't know the cause of this delay, thankfully, everyone here was very well-mannered and had a neutral attitude, which made the situation much more manageable. Last little bit, I think we finally made it and I gotta go through over here. That was not pleasant. I think that was about 15 minutes, but everybody was orderly, less than a push or this on people but just waiting you know I mean? like, uh, all right so let's uh let's push out we got we made it through the scramble we're gonna try to go through see if we can push through here and i think they have a little point we can see some of the stuff going on but it's a lot of people here today it's a saturday evening that's part of it but also it's uh it's holiday season so it's the other side of it there we need to get out there that thing's pretty busy too so let's try to get down where's the exit at we gotta figure out that's definitely not the exit that's another way to come in this might be the exit there should be a way of going down right here let's try that if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe Let's walk out here and see what all this looks like. They got another crosswalk over that way as well. You see, it's like crosswalk, cars on top, street below. That's different. I don't know. I don't know what the issue was earlier in the train station, but we were held up for a while. That was unusual. And there's definitely a lot of people. I've never seen that many people together in one place that close together and no issues. Nobody was complaining, nobody was cursing, nobody was pushing. I was already looking at places I would want to be in case stampede status started. Maybe stick to the walls and uh, maybe try to wait it out. All right, so we're down here, we made it down here. We're not at the main scramble point, but it's, it's close to here. All right, so let's continue walking down this section. I just like this section because there's a lot of stuff going on out here all the time. So it's, it's never any lack of, of content. It's always something to see. These guys are cooking. What's that? What's that? What, what is this? It smells decent. Look at the cooking right there. Look at that. See what you focus on that. There we go. They got it some type of feeling going on in there. That's what's up though. Right, let's see what these dudes doing. Make sure to hit that like button. All right, we can walk through this section instead of walking over there. And 
I see. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'm going to get food. Probably getting food or something at some point. It's still, I mean, it's Christmas time, so it's cold out here, but it's uh, very, very crowded. There's always, I mean, it's, it's like everywhere you go, there's a choke point everywhere so it's it doesn't really stop so let's see if we can get out here just the other way just, i could just walk back that way head back down the street but look at this like it's all right so one time this is where we came the other day so i know where, I know where we're at right here so, it's even more people than the last time we was here. Alright, we made it through. Alright. Alright, we need to figure out what to do. Actually, pretty nice. Not a lot of people in here. It's small spaces, but man, you look pretty good. But the other thing is, it's right above the crossing. So from here, we can see everybody queued up, waiting to cross, and all that. And uh, <laughs> it's just another angle of Shibuya crossing. It's, there's just so much to see here. There you go. Yeah, it really is crazy how people they cross there. Say it's the busiest crossing in the world. I haven't seen anything even close to that anywhere I've been in my travels. Alright, so the food has arrived. We got the uh, French toast. That's how they're doing it right here with the uh the hot tea so we set this up yeah what's some of this oh yeah that's good that looks like a nice herbal tea yeah. More sugar needed. It's already the honey, I believe. And uh, what am I missing? I think I have some utensils to eat this. This is the. Uh, so this is really, really a nice setup of French toast. this nice little uh i don't know you call it a, a van whatever but like a like a food truck but for alcohol so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get some alcohol and uh they say they got soju soju and uh that's the one right there okay let me get a soju yeah is it hot 
Hot. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Right. So, got it in the cup right there. Make sure we get this. Okay. Sashi. Sashi. Go. Rock. Nana. Hot. 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 Okay. Arigato. All right, so we'll taste this soju right now. Yeah, the soju is from Japan, right? It's rice? No, it's sweet potato. Sweet potato. <laughs> I don't know, it's a little strong for me, man. You know, I don't drink a lot of alcohol. Okay, domo arigato. For some reason, and this is my fault. I was expecting to taste blue vine. You know, like the the blue vine I had the other day, which is it's, it's sweet, it's it's agreeable. It's like a kid could drink blue vine. But this, I don't think most people you gotta be used to this taste. Warm uh soju sake. Soju? I don't know. Well, I paid for it, so I'm gonna drink it. But let's look around this this area here. Food trucks everywhere. Food and alcohol trucks. I'm sure this is some copyrighted music, but. So this, this here kind of reminds me of uh, the tents at Oktoberfest in, in Germany, but a little bit different. A little different and it's uh, but the same type of tables. Actually, yeah, the Christmas markets in Germany. That's what it's modeled after, I assume. So, it's pretty cool, though. I just don't want to wait in any lines right now for uh, for just a drink or something to eat. So, we're going to continue on. Everybody's out here with their phones taking pictures. You don't see too many big cameras out here. So, I'm pushing a little bit different with this one. But yeah, it's a nice, nice scene. So the deal is, 
it's booked up tonight. It's booked until 8.30, and then even at 8.30, the slot that they have open up there is for the second deck down. It's not the highest deck. Talk with a young lady there. She's explaining to me how the best times are probably at night because she said that if it's during the day, it may be cloudy. If it's cloudy, you're not gonna see anything. But at night, even if it's cloudy, you're still gonna have a nice view with all the lights and everything. So and she also gave me another tip. She said, you get it online, you can't come here and scan for the next day. And you can get the ticket from 7-Eleven. Like it's about to be there. It is sunset right now. Thank you.